Yeah, hi guys. So, uh, just doing another one there on trying to understand uh, the different groups of pe people. There's like, and I'm <clears throat> actually <laughs> dispensationalizing, well, however you say it, dispensationalizing um, groups of people, which I think that's what dispensationalism means is. <clears throat> different groups of people being treated in different ways as far as I can tell but we'll, we'll have a look at that in a minute <clears throat> but what I'm talking about is these sort of groups of people so you got like saved by race skin color DNA saved by fate Calvinist saved by do no works at all once saved always saved saved by works <clears throat> Moses and Abrahamic religions um, uh, Muslim and all that. Uh, saved by creature, Aryans. <coughs> saved by self, I'm a good person, all these sort of stuff. Saved by name, uh, who's your mama? You know, the way you say God's name, you know, is, they, they say this. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. These are like instant arguments waiting to happen, alright? So all these are like <coughs> fighting topics. So... That's basically it. So when, when um, you're getting the accusers coming on, accusing you and, and mockers and scoffers and all that sort of stuff, um, uh, accusing you of whatever it is, it, it's because they've attached something else uh, to God's, <clears throat> what God's doing. So the thing is, when you start off being a Christian or coming to God, right, is you go, okay, God, I give up, I'm, I'm useless, everything I've tried to do is rubbish, alright, so you, you do it, alright, here, all yours, fix me, alright, and then that's that's it, that's all your expectations, alright, and then you you wait for him to start fixing you, and, <clears throat> and he does, and then uh, as you go along, he'll teach you, you know, um, things that he expects, and what he wants you to get rid of, and each little part as you go along it's a learning curve All right so um and you do it like that and you and you go okay god what else what, what do you want to do today sort of thing all right um blah 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 and you carry on like that so so yeah so in in saying so it's a long journey just like that between god and you and and that's your relationships thing and you know, you don't really get involved in these groups. The, the the only reason you should go to a church or something like that is just for fellowship or something. But um, when you start joining some of these groups <clears throat> um, that connect things to God, that's when things start to go pear shaped and and they get um, they start to get a bit more picky and want to pick on you about stuff because. Um, they're f fearful that they're going to miss out on something uh, through their view of things. So dispensationalism <clears throat> does show that there's rewards right, as well as the free gift. All right. So most of these ones here, where are we? Most of these ones here uh, don't realise there's um, paradise is not the third heaven. Um, that, and that sort of thing. Third heaven is a reward. Paradise is the free gift. And, and it says there, the lawless go to paradise, right? And I'll show you that, prove it. Right? So lawless just means uh, most of these groups. <laughs> right? So lawless people um, they, they, they just don't, you know, want their own thing attached to whatever it is. Um, or they just want their paradise. That's all they want is just paradise and not not so much you know whatever god's doing anyway so so i get <clears throat> one like this what set me off uh this guy here dispensationalist idiot and i'm like what, what's he talking about it's about jews so how do you, <laughs> you know can you give me some verses from the channel from from this bible i like i've never even read this Schofield Bible. I keep hearing about it, keep getting accused of it. Um, I, I'm not even, didn't even know what dispensationalism is. I'm still not totally sure, but whatever. Um, 
So I asked for some verses. Of course, he just give me his favourite preacher or whatever, and uh, you know, I just want the Bible verses. What's so wrong about this Bible? Anyway, I go to his channel, and he's got this one here. He sent it to me once before, this so I remember. And yes, this is what it says: Jesus for dummies. <laughs> I'm not kidding. He's got that there. So if you're a dummy, this is your Jesus. Alright, so this is Jesus for the Jewish. So you just copy this name out here and find out who this guy is. James Wickstrom, James Paul Wickstrom. Was an American white supremacist, far-right activist and Christian identity minister. He was a founding member of Posse... Uh, Posse something, I don't know that. And um, anti-Semitic, anti-government, anti-tax group association with the broader militia movement. Um, all right. He was strongly anti-communist and he frequently advocated the genocide of Jews, non-European Americans, race traitors, homosexuals and drug addicts. All right, so he basically wanted to kill everyone. <laughs> all right, so this is this is the guy that um, this person here recommends I should watch to learn from <clears throat> um, so yeah so needless to say I didn't get far into that video before I ended up wanting to know who he was <clears throat> so uh, yeah I'll go onto the channel and the best way to, to look at these people that attack you is just find out about them first and just see why they're attacking you so like I've wasted so much time with um, arguing these people. I've found the thing is you've got to get to the bottom of whatever it is um, that their issue is. All right, so they'll hide it. Like he's not going to come out and say I'm a white supremacist, right? And um, yeah, you should follow my teachings. <clears throat> no, that'll he he won't tell you. He won't tell you why he's a white supremacist because he's ashamed of it. Right, and so he should be. His heart will tell him, "No, don't say that." It's it's like you know, walking around naked. You you know it's wrong, right? It might be fun, right? But you know it's wrong, and your your heart will tell you it's wrong. So he's got the same thing. So he won't come out and tell you that. So what you got to do is listen to what people are saying, and then try and find out <clears throat> what it is um, that's that they hate about. It. So this Schofield Bible is not really what he's mad about what he's mad about is this dispensationalism because what it does is that dispensationalism um, <clears throat> it uh, negates what his religion is all about all right and it is it's a religion all right so um I'll have a look here is religion pure and genuine religion in the sight of god the father all right, means caring for orphans, widows in their distress, and refusing to let the world corrupt you. So that's NLT. <clears throat> I'll go back to this one. KJV, this is big enough. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so, where is it? For if you hear of the word and not a doer, he is unto man beholding... Uh, beholding a natural face in a um, mirror um, for he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth what manner his man he was <clears throat> but whoso looketh in perfect law and liberty and continueth therein he being not f forgetful hearer but a doer of the work this man shall be blessed so uh, you know it's just saying if you're hearing the word do it right don't don't be lawless. Um, if you're lawless, then what's the point? And this is the other one um, these white supremacists like to give me is this fellow here. Um, and he's the same thing. He hates um, dispensationalism. So uh, it'd be a good bet that he's a white supremacist too. And um, that sort of line. So. Uh, Dispensationalism is the theological framework for an interpreting the Bible, which maintains that history is divided into multiple ages, 
or dispensations in which God acts with his chosen people in different ways and is often distinguished from covenant theology. Anyway, I, I don't know, it's, it's just some sort of thing that they go on to. Um, I think, yeah, because it's kind of, they also into rapture, I'm into rapture, right? Um, I get accused of this one too. Zionism, like, what is that? <clears throat> I don't know, premillionism. Um, so yeah, I'll probably have some of these things in there, for sure. Oh, uh, um, ah, yeah, is the other one, Nelson Darby. So I haven't read Darby or Schofield on KJV. KJV and Strong's Concordance, right. Um, awesome. Now, what's the other one? Oh, Prima, yeah, so you got all those ones, Prima, oh, Christian Zionism. I'm sure you can all suss them all out, whatever they are. But, uh, yeah, so, <clears throat> let's have a look here. So this is, this one here, this is supposed to, I suppose is dispensationalism. Right, so I knew a man above 14 years ago. Okay, so Paul is 14 years in the future, right, and I suggest to you that he's in the manilial reign looking back to today. Right, so today... We are 14 years and 90 days away from this time that he's talking. Uh, as as I make this video, or 89 days. Um, <clears throat> I knew a man in Christ about 14 years ago. All right, such a one caught up to the third heaven. All right, third heaven is not paradise. All right, third heaven is a reward. It is not free. Okay, and I knew such a man. Similar to, not like the first man, right, but he's similar to, okay, such. You can click on it with your Strong's tools and have a look. All right, how that he was caught up to paradise, all right, third heaven, paradise. And I heard unspeakable words, all right, unspeakable, which is not lawful. So what's not lawful? Lawless, all right. So which is lawless, he was lawless, all right, and unspeakable, say sinful all right to utter so this guy being in that framework right is going to paradise so that shows that paradise is a free gift all right so he's promised it it's free there's no conditions to it okay it's obviously because a lawless man is going there like the thief on the cross all right he didn't just stop being lawless he was nailed to a cross if he hadn't got off you know he remains to be seen but he was still um still lawless <laughs> all right so um this is the truth paradise is a free gift okay this is not right rewards are different for different people you get different crowns all right i'll show you another one um henceforth for i am ready to be offered at the time of my departure's hand i have fought good fight i have finished my course i have kept the faith henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not only to me, so he knows, right, he's getting this crown, he knows he's righteous, right? And not only to me, not me only, but to all them also that have that love, that love his appearing. Alright, so this love... To welcome, to entertain... To love dearly, all right. Um, content with, so you, you're just ready for it, okay. So you got this one here comes from that means dotted, all right. To have inordinate affection or lust. Um, where are we? To breathe after, right? To love. So. <clears throat> You, you know, you're so looking forward to Jesus turning up, all right? It, it's just, it, it's just every breath you take, you want Jesus to turn up, which is me, <laughs> all right? This is, this is all the rapture watchers are like this, all right? And this is the crown they're getting, all right? So they can know if you're like this or you're like me, you can know you're righteous, all right? So there you go. 
Okay, so fruit of the spirit. The fruit of the spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Okay, so the the these are great things. I loved finding that out. I only just found that out in the last few days, and it was really nice to find out. <clears throat> Blessed, and this is Matthew, alright, and Matthew's written to Judah, actually, so this is like later on in tribulation, well, for these people, and it's teaching them. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness, righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alright, so, the, the kingdom, oh, we'll get into that, whatever. Anyway, so, what else we got here, broad sense? Yeah, righteousness. Okay, so yeah, so when 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 you get in these people like this, it, it's easier not just to get into their argument and start fighting them. You got to try and find out what it is that um, that they believe, or which one of these, uh, which one of these they come from, because here you've got. Arians are like lots of them. This is this is uh, Jehovah's Witnesses and Black Hebrew Israelites. This one here is also Black Hebrew Israelites. We've got that in there and Jehovah's Witnesses. So they'll fit in a few of these uh, different categories. Um, you got this lot here. They're, these are usually Black Hebrew Israelites. The way you say your name or whatever. <clears throat> um, saved by nice Muslims. You. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't even want to get into that sort of stuff, but anyway, just, just all these different groups have their own ideas, and that's another religion they've attached to it, and tradition, which is the other video I was just watching there today, is tradition with the Catholics, right, and they've gone off course because uh, nothing in their first, in the, you know, 300 years after Christ, there was nothing about all these things where they used to eat the blood of Christ, and the, the literal blood, you know, like vampires and and this sort of stuff. All, all these things are traditions that have been just added on over the years. And they've changed and they they didn't even have a pope. All right? They didn't have none of that. They weren't allowed to have any one or bishop or whatever or pope over all the others. Each one had their own little area and no one was to rule over them all. Um, but anyway, I digress. So, yeah, so... In my my endeavours and joining up all these different religions and following along, you know, like I was even caught up by the Black Hebrew Israelites for a while, because um, they seemed to really like God, but um, turns out they didn't like Jesus, right? They don't consider him as God. He's a man to them. Um, so yeah, you're best off figuring out whatever it is that ails them first, and then tackle that because. Once you hit that nail on the head, you'll be in an argument with those guys forever because they don't care. They just they need their thing to be right so they can, I don't know, whatever. It's stressful. <laughs> All right. God bless. I hope that helps.